right, everyone. We are going to go. Thank you so much, Maya. Let me refresh because I know it's And we are back. How's our side by side going? Okay. Looks like we're here, everyone. Okay, fantastic. <sighs> well, hello there and happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. For anybody new here, allow me to introduce myself to you. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to your struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a boy mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. I have been working with a metabolic specialist and am maintaining an 80 holidays pound weight loss with at least 20 more, at least 20 more to go. And I have been doing this by getting tested for food sensitivities. So pretty much what I eat is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Uh, but I love to cook and I love to eat clearly. And so I like to bring you all recipes that I may adjust for my food sensitivities, but you can also enjoy them with all of the uh, full flavor ingredients. Yes, thank you all so much for being here. Who do we have in the house? I had to refresh, but I saw Maya. Thank you so much for being here, my dear Maya, our uh, classroom, um, is it bodybuilder or fitness expert? Uh, we have Mona, the moderator in the class. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Mona. Uh, happy belated birthday again. Mona has a YouTube channel. I believe Maya also has a YouTube channel. Uh, Mona has two channels, one for her and one for the kiddos, so please drop uh, both of your channels in the chat and let us know what we can find there. We have Veggie Veggie in the class, one of my day one scholars. Thank you so much for being here, Veggie Veggie, so consistent. I appreciate you all being here. If anybody else wants to be counted present for today's class, feel free to announce yourself or you're always welcome to watch from the clouds. Ninja watchers are welcome here in the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Okay, so I am going to be making a shrimp cocktail for you all. Have I ever made it before? No. Has that ever stopped me before? No. <sighs> Who else do we have here? What is a classroom without a class clown? You all know him and you love him. Our dear Wilbert says, I want to be counted present for today's class. So Wilbert is here front and center and we just allow him to express himself however he pleases. Oh, Betsy Betsy says, great family photos. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, for anyone who missed it, it is on my community tab. Uh, we celebrated Christmas at my family um, a few days before because uh, my ex-husband wanted to have the boys for Christmas. So they were with their dad, which was totally fine. You all saw that I went to the St. Regis and I did dinner. Plus, I booked a few extra treats. Um, I won't spill all the beans, but um, we've already got the rest of this week planned. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do a special stream for Marie Marie uh, around lunchtime. And then New Year's Eve, I've booked a special dinner in the evening. So I will uh, come back and tell you all all about it. And then New Year's Day, I've booked a special tea. Y'all, we're never going to get this weight off, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, we're going to get this weight off. Um, a few special things. So I will go and take pictures and enjoy and uh, come back and share it with you all. Oh my goodness, we've got Marie Marie in the house. Hello, my dear. I haven't uh, scheduled it yet, but uh, just so I'll share with you all, Marie Marie inboxed me today. And I am Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. So you can find me on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. And my newest goal is to go live on TikTok. So you all are going to start seeing more 
content on TikTok. Um, here's the deal. I learned that you cannot go live on TikTok unless you have a thousand followers and I am not there yet, but every day I'm going to be posting, you know, the little clips of what I'm eating and sharing it over there so that, uh, Hopefully in the new year, I'll get up to a thousand and uh, I'll be able to stream the same content over there. Ah, oh, yes, you all are talking to each other. Oh, I was going to show you all the family photo that uh, Veggie Veggie is talking about. You all know my family, my mom, my dad made an appearance and my uh, brother made an appearance and you all know the boys. So. Let's see. This is posted on my community tab on YouTube. It's on my Facebook and it's on my Instagram. Who do we have here? We've got Leanne in the house bringing hearts. Thank you so much for the purple heart, my dear. Leanne and I go way back. My first job out of college. So happy to have you with us. All right. So I think you all saw this already, but just in case anybody did not, here is, um, oh, is it? That's choppy a little bit. Let's see. Let me show you all Maggie's family. Some of you all know them, some of you don't. I'm the one taking the picture. So of course there's Nana in the bottom. You all know Nana and you love her. I am the daughter of a retired home economics teacher. So whenever my mom, dad said Maggie in the kitchen. So this is my dad right here. I can't hold it well. You know the two, um, Gong Gong, the homeless Marcus on the left and homeless Alex on the right. And then there's my brother, Uncle Phil. So you all can see that on the um, community tab. You know how my family treats me. They don't even really believe I'm, my dad says I'm just opening cans and boxes. So I appreciate you all so much for including me. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I found this recipe. I have been watching uh, all things home uh, and I actually saw a recipe for shrimp cocktail on the Roku channel and uh, Martha Stewart has a like home for the holiday series and this is where I saw the recipe. However, the recipe that I saw was quite complex and so I started to put all this stuff in my shopping cart and then I found another one online that was simple. So. I know I usually say why be regular when you can be extra, but we're gonna be regular today. And if you all like it, we'll do the fancy version. So this is for shrimp cocktail. <laughs> yes, you saw Uncle Phil, that's my brother, my older brother. Y'all know my family, they just, uh, they don't even know what I'm doing here. They just like, Maggie, oh, you too. Oh, she's still, she's still doing that. Like this was gonna be something that I just, I don't know. Uh, dreamt up but yeah that's my brother uncle phil and the greedy gong gongs y'all know the princes um so yes so we are between christmas if you celebrate and new years but i wanted to uh, share this recipe with you all if you were invited to a party and uh, you wanted to bring something or even have this as a good protein snack at home uh so yeah I'm going to show the video to you all. It's only a one minute video and then we are going to try and recreate this very simple ingredient. So let's see, hopefully it goes over well. All right. So let's see here if I switch this. Okay. So it's one minute and then we're going to get the ingredients out. So you can see, um, I think I put the link. There it is. I put the link in the um, description, but this is a YouTube video and this is Martha Stewart shrimp cocktail. All right. So first I have one of my sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free cocktail sauces. So that is what we're going to try and make and impress our guests or impress anybody else who's uh, coming over. All right. So that is that. Um, let me get my uniform on and then we're going to get our ingredients out. Uh, hopefully everybody is doing well today. Uh, so yeah, let me know if anybody has anything they want to shout out. If I missed anybody who has a YouTube channel, uh, please uh, check it out. We may have some new people today. Uh, lead attorney went live on Instagram and uh, I hopped on his live. He was so gracious enough to uh, bring me up. So, so yeah. All right. So let's see. 
Who do we have here? We've got Linda in the house. Hello, my dear. Linda with the love notes. All right, so uh, let me get my uniform on to start. And uh, I'm gonna get a beverage, yeah. So I stay drinking these in the fridge, just the Walmart brand uh, sparkling water. and sugar-free. All right, uniform. Hope you all are doing well. I don't know if we have people with uh, shellfish allergies, so um, hopefully you all enjoy shrimp, and hopefully this is as simple as it looks, right? So let us get together. Oh yes, Mama had her birthday. All right, try and get myself together. All right, so. Oh, Wilbert says as soon as the wife gets home, he's gonna head to Walmart for the sparkling water. Yes, you all, this is what I drink all the time. If you're a big soda drinker, I am not, but if you are a big soda drinker, maybe you move to a uh, sparkling water so you get the bubbles experience. Ah, oh, and we already have a stream sponsor. Y'all know stream sponsors come to the front of the class. Thank you so much, Dottie girl. Uh, we missed you a couple days ago. Happy belated Boxing Day, if that's right. Um, Dottie girl is our UK scholar. I have got to make my way back to London. Actually, one of the etiquette coaches that I have is out of the UK and she always has these uh, soirees like at the Royal Opera and all of these things. And it's open to all of us who have completed her course. I know you can't tell. However, one of these days I'm gonna treat myself and actually go over there. I'll have to look you up, Dottie girl. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. Um, the stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest Super Chat, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars. Uh, just let me know to look for them because y'all know I get distracted. And this is actually 10 pounds. I don't know how much that is in dollars. If somebody wants to let me know. And what is the symbol for the pound? Because I just want to do a dollar sign, but I know that's not accurate. Um, but I really appreciate it, you all. You can watch like, share, subscribe, comment, um, be in the live chat, all of that for free. And it helps the channel to grow. And I love having you here. Uh, but when you go above and beyond like that, it really, really uh, warms my heart. So thank you so much. Dottie is going up on the struggle stream microwave. <sighs> um. I'm just going to do 10 great British pounds. I want to put respect on your currency. I don't know how to draw it. I don't know what the symbol is. Oh, what does Wilbert say? Oh, gasp. Already, yes, uh, Dottie has come in very generous. I appreciate it. I haven't cooked anything, y'all. Sit back and relax. Uh, Wilbert says, I'm not petty prepared. Wilbert, you are welcome here with or without your pennies. We wouldn't have it any other way. We have Fadia in the house. Hello, my dear. Thank you so much for being here. Ah, oh, yes, y'all already know. Just let Wilbert have his. Ah, thank you. So see, look how helpful you, helpful you are. So that's $12.02 if we, if we uh, change the currency. But yeah, we were talking about this zero calorie sparkling water. So I don't know if you've had it before. You all have probably seen them in the um, like the one liter bottles. None of this is sponsored. I just like it. Uh, black cherry is the favorite around here. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let us see what we need. Um, I know we're going to need the cooktop in a big pot. Got our 
cooktop. I'll plug this up in a moment. Let's get our pot. Yes, I use the stove for storage so the gong gongs don't get the nice stuff. They get the raggedy stuff. I keep the nice stuff for this class. And this is the Tasty Cookware. I found it in the garage. Uh, I do have a link for you all in the um, in the bio. And they do come in multiple colors. I just got this because it was like a Black Friday special. Ooh, what does Wilbert say? There's an orange or tangerine one uh, for the sparkling water you got from Walmart. And you think it's better than the other flavors. Awesome. Is it like an orange, like creamsicle or is it orange, orange? I'll have to check that out. Thank you for sharing, Wilbert. What kind of flavors do you all like? We got Prince B in the house. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like the full experience, you can find that on, I think it's on Twitter. I don't know. Facebook or YouTube for sure. Yes. All right. So... We have our stovetop. We have our pot. I just have to keep rewatching the video, you all, because it doesn't have um, the actual ingredients. Let me move this over so you all can see. All right. Um, I got the shrimp in the sink, so we're gonna put some gloves on and get get on with that. A lemon. I well, know I just bought some bay leaves, so I gotta find where we put them. Ah, just orange, orange. Okay, thank you, Robert. Thank you for clarifying. All right, so we will wash this and cut that up shortly. Um, bay leaves, bay leaves. Oh dear. This is what I do. I just bought them. Okay. <sighs> and I thought I put them over here. Lord. All right. All right, well, I have one bay leaf, I know. Uh, did I put it in the fridge? So I have this one, but I bought a fresh new pack. This is why I should have my stuff together. All right, we'll find it. So let's see if we can put our cooling rack down. Just trying to get everything ready so I look fancy. I'm no Martha Stewart, but all right. So we have this and let me get water. That's so frustrating. Who do we have? All right, let me just take one more look, you all. I 
know it's going to turn up as soon as I'm done. Uh oh, we have a question. What does Wilbert say? <sighs> Wilbert, I am happily to f I'm happy to follow the recipe. I don't know, but I think it was something finance related, so we are not going to touch that here. All right. Let's get started with the shrimp. Um, so here's the thing. When I look at this recipe, the shrimp looks like it's already, yeah, it's already peeled. So I'm going to have to do, oh, y'all can't see. The shrimp looks like it's already peeled. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of prep work. So we are going to put some gloves on and uh, get in there so that our shrimp is ready. So let me get a... I'll use another tray. All right, so as far as shrimp, you know, seafood can be expensive, but the other reason why I wanted to do this recipe is I found some shrimp, believe it or not, don't judge me, at the Dollar Tree. Remember we were talking about how if you have a Dollar Tree that has a frozen section, you can uh, find what did we have there? Some mixed vegetables like onions and peppers, um, some frozen uh, strawberries, and we made our smoothie. So, you know, I just try to show you all some ways that you can have uh, some nice things without spending too much money. So I am going to get my gloves on and then I'm just going to peel the shrimp. We've got Alcazone water here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Hi, we've got Tammy in the house. Uh, if you would like the side-by-side -side experience, you can find Maggie, the substitute teacher, on Facebook or YouTube. And look, Alcazone, I'm always, always, always shouting you guys out. I love this stuff. I put it in everything, everything. Coffee, um, tea, water, everything. And again, my metabolic specialist, for anyone who's not familiar, my metabolic specialist recommended that I drink more alkaline water. And you can... You can buy it. I think it's expensive and I think it's heavy. And so they recommended these drops. You all see, I use them all the time from Amazon. Um, and I made some coffee and tagged them <laughs> in a little short and here they are. All right, y'all. So let us, uh, let me get some gloves on and I'm gonna show you the shrimp that I have. Okay. So again, of course, if you want to go to your uh, local fishery, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what it's called. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you can get the best, biggest shrimp, honestly, for a shrimp cocktail. Yeah, that is cool, right, y'all? Never know who's watching. Um, for shrimp cocktail, you definitely want to get bigger shrimp. Uh, this size, I'll show you all what I have. Um, but for shrimp cocktail, you know, you want to be able to dunk it in that cocktail sauce. And I've got a good cocktail uh, sauce substitute for you all that we're going to uh, show. Plus, on Martha Stewart's website, there was a recipe for one. All right. So this is what I got. And hopefully I can get this one to thaw out pretty quickly. But you can see here, sea bass. This actually came from the Dollar Tree. And this is the 40 50. I don't know what the numbers actually mean. Oh yeah, 40 to 50 shrimp per pound. So you probably want shrimp that are twice this size, but we're going to make it work. The recipe says you need two pounds of shrimp and this bag is eight ounces. Eight ounces is half a pound. So I have four bags in the sink. Who do we have here? Oh, Maya's here. She loves Alcazone. Yes, they're watching on Instagram if you want to come on over and say hello. I've been sharing it with you all. Um, I use it in everything. And Alcazone actually commented on the coffee that it helps take some of the bitterness out. Uh, I enjoy coffee, but if you think it's too bitter, you can try the Alcazone drops. For me, my experience was I was drinking, drinking, drinking water, and it wasn't staying to hydrate me. It was just pretty much going through me. And so when they recommended the Alkazone, now when I drink water, I actually feel hydrated. and I don't have to take as many comfort breaks, shall we say. Who do we have here? We have C, Simple Secret says, I buy alkaline water and you've never seen the drops. Yes, these are the drops, okay? So um, Alkazone, this is the brand, and you all can see here, 
I keep these in stock. I've bought them for my mom. I've shared them with you all. Maya has bought them. But yes, and Alcazone, I don't know if there are any hacks you want to share uh, with us. You're welcome to join the live and uh, chat about your uh, product. But uh, oh, thank you, Prince. Um, I just put a few drops in everything that I'm making, smoothies, water, tea, coffee. And for me, it doesn't change the taste at all. Yes, you guys are going to love the drops. Absolutely. Just such a great hack. All right, so I've got our shrimp here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open these packs. And unfortunately, I need to peel them. <laughs> so what do you all think? They're already de -veined. Oh, wait a second. Okay, the shell is on. How do you all like your shrimp? Do you like uh, shell on or shell off? You know, if you're from the South, Oh, thank you, Alcazone. Uh, I'm going to leave the tails on, but these have already been deveined. So as they're thawed out, you can see the, uh, what is this? The, not the skin, the shell just comes off really easily. So I'm just going to peel those off really quick. Um, I have had both experiences and I've made lots of seafood for you all. And sometimes people are intimidated by seafood, you know, because it's expensive and you don't want to mess it up because then, you know, you've wasted your money. However, you know, what I've found is that if you find a simple recipe um, and you just keep an eye on it, fish and seafood can go from done to overdone really quickly. A little goes a long way. But it just takes practice. And I would say start with uh, smaller portions and, uh, you know, perfect it if you can. When I've done shrimp in the stove or on the stovetop, I like to keep it with the shell on and then kind of have like a peel and eat shrimp after um, because I feel like it stays maybe a little bit juicier when I have the shell off. Um, it just needs to be seasoned really well because it can kind of dry uh, out. But this recipe is for the shell off. So since I do everything uh, live, I'm just taking time to <laughs> peel the shrimp off here. <sighs> but yes, you know, shrimp cocktail is elegant. Um, I think the presentation is, or at least I'm going to try and make it elegant and hopefully it's easy. So if you're dining or entertaining, having people over and you need to, you know, make something that's kind of a nice presentation or a nice centerpiece, this could be an option for you. All right. So we're almost done with bag number one. And again, the disclaimer, this is uh, smaller than you probably would want for shrimp cocktail, but it's what I got. So if you got shrimp in the house frozen and you want to thaw it out, maybe you give this recipe a try. All right, so I'm going to get a little colander. So we've got one bag um, peeled and I'm just going to get a little trash bag for the, um, what are these? Um, I keep wanting to say the skins, the shells. Ah, oh, Alcazone says, and delicious. Alcazone water, maybe you can let us know, would we use Alcazone drops in any recipes? Does it change any food or is it mainly for beverages? Because uh, my class, I'm the substitute teacher because I teach my food substitution, but uh, I'm happy to share with the class anything you want us to know about Alcazone water. So we are going to put our shrimp that we've peeled in here just so we can rinse it off a little bit. And I'm going to move over to the next bag, but let me get a trash bag for the little skins that I have or shells. So a couple things with shrimp. Of course, fresh is best if you can get it. 
Ah, Alcazone Water says no, not for as an ingredient, but it's only for non-carbonated drinks. It does nothing for cooked food. Okay. And I've never used it as an ingredient. I've always put it in uh, beverages. Uh, coffee, tea, and water is pretty much what I drink. And Alcazone Water says the drops increase the alkaline level. Is it alkaline or alkaline? Y'all, I don't know. Alkaline level, so basically helps rid acid buildup. Yeah, and y'all know, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a home cooker. But, um, you know, like I said, when I got my test results, and for anybody new here, in working with a metabolic specialist, I was tested in her office, and the test was a cheek swab on the inside and then some hair samples to kind of find out what foods my body tolerates well and what foods my body doesn't tolerate well. All right, so first bag is done. I'm just going to put this in the sink so it can drip down. And then we'll go to the second bag. And funnily enough, water came up on my list. And I was like, come on, who is sensitive to water? That's just ridiculous. Uh, Alcazone says I'm a good cook. Oh my gosh, y'all, really? Thank you for saying that. Look, I grew up with the African Martha Stewart. My mom uh, sifts her own grains. Um, what else does she do? Like, it's just, she takes no shortcuts. And so all my life, I was uh, trying to find out an easier way to do some stuff. But, you know, now, since I had to make health changes, I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have elevated cholesterol and I used to have uh, borderline blood pressure. And all of that is normal now because I've completely changed the way that I eat and snack. Um, and y'all know water is a big part of that. But so back to my story, when water came up on my list, I was like, what the heck? What kind of test results are these? And the metabolic specialist told me that, you know, I'm not going to like retain regular water. I have to drink alkaline water. And honestly, you all... I used to see alkaline water, y'all know, I used to be an executive for the Coca-Cola company before the pandemic. And uh, we had smart water or, you know, all of these brands of water. And I thought it was kind of like, I don't want to say a gimmick, but you know, sometimes you see this stuff and it's like, does it really work? And believe me, uh, just a few drops, just being consistent with it has been the biggest thing for me. And you all see me every time I'm making a beverage, I put those uh, drops in there. So, you know, a little bit goes a long way. And uh, this is not a sprint. It is a marathon. But I love to share with you all the different things that I've learned to help you because not everybody knows. And uh, we all have to start somewhere. So I'm still peeling this uh, the shrimp, just getting the shell off. So when you buy shrimp, you will find lots of different varieties. You will find cooked and non-cooked or uncooked, raw, I don't know, whatever they call it. I would just highly recommend, if at all possible, to get raw shrimp. My experience has been when you buy the shrimp that's already cooked, sure, that's a shortcut. However, I feel like it's kind of borderline rubbery and it doesn't really um, taste as good as if you cook it in whatever broth or whatever seasonings uh, you want it in. So just a thought. And then you can also get shell on or shell off, peeled and or deveined. So if you all have ever had shrimp, you know, on the back here, there's like this big vein that goes down the back of the shrimp and somebody has to like cut into that and then peel the ins, um, you know, take out the little vein or insides or whatever it is. I'm not trying to do that. Um, so I like to get deveined. I like to get uncooked and um, peeled or unpeeled, it's okay. So read the package when you're shopping for shrimp because sometimes I've made that mistake when I'm just grabbing stuff and it's like, oh man, it's not deveined. I got to go in there and do that. I'm not trying to do that. All right, two down. 
Let's drain this. So this recipe calls for two pounds of shrimp. I am going to cook it all. I'm not going to eat it all. But um, this should this should keep. So what I eat is uh, or lean protein shrimp has been approved for me. I know some people have shellfish uh, allergies, and uh, I'll talk a little bit since I have this repetitive task here. I'll talk a little bit about what I've learned about uh, allergies and sensitivities. So again, my metabolic specialist has been helping me with food sensitivities. Now, if you are allergic to something, and again, I am not a doctor, but allergies are usually very severe and they're usually immediate. So you know people who can't have shellfish or peanuts or any of those things, they have an immediate, you know, rather severe response. So they have to be very careful. That was not my experience. I was eating everything, clearly. However, what I've learned is that there are some things that your body, there are some foods that your body tolerates well. And then there are, um... <laughs> hey Malachi, I see you. Hi, Miss Maggie, this is Malachi. I wish I could eat shrimp. You have a shellfish allergy, allergy sweetheart. Is the shrimp you're going to make going to taste good? I hope so. I'm making this recipe for the first time, so I hope it tastes good. I'll let you know. So the difference between food allergies and food sensitivities, you know, with food sensitivities, you can eat it without, you know, an allergic response. However, there's this thing called inflammation that I didn't know about. Uh, there are some foods that we eat and our body tolerates really well and you're just humming along. And then there are some foods that you eat that your body does not tolerate well, but you don't know it because it could be a delayed response, like days later. Um, it could show up in other ways. So for me, it was weight gain, it was inflammation, it was joint pain. For some people, it could be hair issues, skin issues, sleep issues. And again, I'm not a doctor, but this is what I've learned on my journey because I've always, you know, had a weight problem, unfortunately. But in my 40s, the weight problem started to turn into a health problem. So that's why I had to do uh, something about it. And these are all the things that I've learned. So I've always been cooking. And now I am changing up the recipes in a way that I can tolerate them. But again, if you can have everything, please have some for me. All right. Bag number three is done. Let's get these shells. And I have a fourth bag, but honestly, y'all, I didn't take it out of the freezer. So I think it may just go in as it is. And we'll have most of them peeled and some of them won't be because I'm not going to be able to unpeel. I'm not going to be able to peel the frozen ones. Yeah, I didn't get that out. But I'm going to rinse everything and then we're going to get started. So these are the things that I've learned on my journey and the alka zone water has been a big part of that Excuse me, for hydration. All right, throwing away our uh, shrimp shells. All right, now I can touch it. Hello, hello, Malachi. Thank you for being here, my dear. All right, so we have two pounds of shrimp here and I'm just going to run this underwater in the sink just to kind of rinse off anything, wipe down the counters, and then we're going to begin. All right, and so since that's in the colander, I'm just going to, let's see, I can probably pull it out if I drip this out. So Malachi says, you wish you could eat shrimp. Is it because you're allergic? I have a good girlfriend that is um, allergic to shellfish. And um, for those of us who enjoy crab and lobster and shrimp, you know, they have to be really, really careful. They can't have any of it. Okay. So let's go ahead. You know what I should have done? I should have gotten started on this water. All right, because it's got to boil or simmer or something like that. So we need to cut into our lemon. So let's put our shrimp here. And I'm going to get a cutting board so we can cut. And um, I'll take one more look for that other bay leaf 
It's just driving me nuts. All right. Oh, all right. So let's see. In case anyone just hopped on, I think it was four, four quarts or four cups. Can't be. Let's see. So this is what we're making. This is our Martha Stewart recipe. So we need, I can't read it backward yet. We're going to cut our lemon in half. How much water? I guess it doesn't really matter. Just enough to cover all of the shrimp, right? Four quarts of water. That's a lot. All right. So let's get started with that. And a quart is four cups. So four times four is 16 cups of water. Now, luckily, our induction cooktop will heat up quickly. So I'll move this to the side so you all can see. All right, so we got this big old thing. This is eight cups, so I need two of these. This is like a really big measuring cup. All right, so let's put our water in here. We're going to go ahead and turn this on and turn it on high. It goes from zero to 10, so we're going to put it on 10. We're going to fill it up with this water. Again, I probably should have done that before I was feeling the shrimp. Uh, ah. All right, so we have eight cups going in. And then let's do one more. caught up on the comments, y'all. Let's get this in here. All right. So we have another eight cups of water going in. So that is our four quarts. It's a lot of water. All right. And then the recipe shows one lemon cut in half. So let's get our beautiful cutting board just to cut our lemon in half. All right. We have this beautiful acacia wood cutting board gifted to us by Victoria. We have Chandra, the fly to fit chick in the house, also with the YouTube channel. She has a fitness channel. You all please check that out and support. Ah, oh, you love shrimp and everything seafood. Okay, so today is your day. So um, again, we're going to try and make this shrimp scampi. Shrimp cocktail. Scampi is in sauce. Y'all see, I don't know, right? All right, let's get our lemon. And the whole lemon is going to go into the pot. So I'm just going to peel the label off here and then I'm going to wash it. All right, so let's get this clean. Whew. It's cold in Atlanta. The water's cold. Everything is cold. I hope you all are staying warm and safe. So let's get our lemon cut in half. So we're just going to do a crosswise cut and we have our, <laughs> our lemon and I'm just going to put the whole thing in the pot and for anyone who just hopped on, I'll play the little one minute video so you can see this is a Martha Stewart recipe I'm going to try and do and um, it calls for two bay leaves and I just bought a pack of bay leaves and no idea where they are so what I have is this pack with one. So this needs to go in the water. All right, bay leaves are great for seasoning, so many different soups and stews and rices. So you put this in for flavor, and then of course you're gonna take it out later. Uh, and then there's salt that goes in here. That way we have flavor inside of our shrimp and we're not just gonna duck it in the cocktail sauce, right? We actually want our shrimp to taste good. So let's see, I think it was just a tablespoon of salt. One lemon, two bay leaves, and one tablespoon of salt. Okay. Mm 
So I just bought this kosher salt at the dollar store. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of this in our water and we want it to boil. All right. So we have our one tablespoon. So let's go in here. You can use the salt of your choice. I always wonder what it is about kosher salt that makes it kosher. Is it because it doesn't have shellfish or anything like that in it? All right. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, so we have our salted lemon water. So it says that this needs to come to a boil. So in the meantime, I think we're gonna make an apple snack because I'm hungry and this has got to boil and then it's got to simmer for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna make a quick snack with you all. We're gonna slice up an apple, do some goat's cheese, some granola, drizzle it with some honey. So I have something to eat while we're waiting for this. Our shrimp is here, peeled and ready to go in, um, but why not? Let's make a snack, okay? And we will um, clean as we go, take a sip. We have almond eyes in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the apples, Maya. Almond Eyes also has a YouTube channel. You all please check her out and support. So maybe Alcazone, since you're still here, can you let us know what, I know I've heard this before, but I don't remember. Why is it that we don't want to be acidic? Because I remember my test results said I'm acidic. Is it like harder to, I don't know, lose weight or... What happens? Who knows what happens when you have too much acid in your system? I don't suffer from like um, like acid reflux and stuff like that. I know a lot of people do, and maybe the alkaline drops help with that. I had it when I was expecting years ago, but um, I'd love to learn. So let's learn together. y'all i was looking for a small container i found them so i found the bay leaves so the recipe calls for two so i'm just going to put an extra one in there i just got these from walmart in the spice rack area oh, i feel so much better right in front of you right if it had been a snake it would have got me is that what they said if it had been a snake y'all would know all right oh wow Oh, so fragrant. The bay leaves are almost spicy, um, but very fragrant, kind of like a juniper. I don't know, but yes. So we're gonna put a couple of these in the water with the lemon, because the one that I had before was kind of sad looking. So in the pot, we have water, clearly, lemon and um, salt. So this is what we are going to make. So let's make an apple snack. Next time, have the water boiling before you start. All right. So let's clean up as we go. So what has to happen is the water has to boil. So we've got it on high. I'm waiting for the water to boil and it needs to simmer for 10 minutes. That's pretty much the longest thing because after that, we're going to put our raw shrimp in the salted water. We cook it for like a minute, minute and a half and take it out, let it cool and serve. So this one is going to be hopefully really simple and straightforward. Okay. Let me just wash this off and so put my iPad on it and we'll make a snack. Okay. 
right, so I am going to make an apple snack. I love fruit. However, fruit does have a lot of natural sugar, probably the best sugar if you're going to eat it. But I try to eat my fruit with protein and make it make a little go a long way so that I'm not just snacking, snacking, snacking endlessly. And I saw this recipe on Once Upon a Pumpkin. Let me know if anybody has not seen it. I'll pull it up for you so you can see. In the meantime, I'm going to move this because y'all will be able to see when it boils. I'm not sure. All right. So let us get our apples. So I'm greedy. I go for the biggest one. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> So we're going to give this a good wash. And we've made this before. They're called apple tizers. But ever since I made this, I'm not going to say I don't like eating apples any other way. However, I'll show you guys. It's on Instagram. And let me know if you want the link while we're waiting for our water to boil. Ever since I saw this, if I just grab an apple and eat it plain, I feel like I'm missing out on something. All right, so this is once upon a pumpkin. Interesting. All right, so this is a, uh, I guess a nutritionist. So this is the appetizer that she made. So this is what I'm gonna make. We're gonna slice our apple thin and we're gonna smear it with goat's cheese. Could be cream cheese. Uh, got some almonds, pumpkin seeds, thyme, and drizzle it with honey, all right? So that is the snack that I'm going to make. So let's go ahead and get our ingredients out. So this is what I'm going to be using for goat's cheese. You can get this at Publix. I love the Chabri because it is a, um, it's a very mild goat's cheese if you're new to goat's cheese. Um, I was snacking on these earlier. Do I want to do this or want to do, do I want to do granola? I do have some almonds, but these came in the giveaway box. They're wasabi and soy sauce and they're pretty bold. I don't know if I want that on my sweet apples. If you don't have the pumpkin seeds and the almonds, you could also sprinkle with some granola. Oh yes, thank you all for supporting. Sorry for the avalanche. Oh, Sean, hi, Femininity TV. Thank you for being here, my dear. What does Chandra say? Wow, that looks good. You have to use vegan cheese. Yes, yeah, so if you are vegan, there are lots of plant-based. I know Kite Hill makes a, um, like an almond milk cream cheese. If you can have cream cheese, use cream cheese. Y'all know I have to avoid cow dairy, so that's why I'm using goat's cheese. But yeah, I think you'll really like this. Absolutely, a vegan cream cheese, yes. The Kite Hill, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so for the honey, this is what I'm using. This was gifted to us from Notorious Kevin Brooks, uh, Masterminders. I will see you all tonight in Leeds Mastermind. So this is the keto honey substitute that I'm using. It's gotten a little cloudy, but it's still good. We will drizzle this on. So I'm gonna leave this here upside down, um, but I've got other options as well. You can also use some sugar, uh, no sugar added granola for the crunchy bits. All right, so I think we have everything. Oh, some fresh thyme. Let's 
So you can buy dry thyme uh, from any of your you know, grocery store seasoning sections, but I do have some fresh thyme left over from the Sweet Moments kit. Did he cancel it? I thought he rescheduled it. Did I miss it? Don't let me, don't let me mess it up. All right, I think I'm gonna do the granola. Eh, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get this sliced up. Just waiting on our water to boil. It looks like it's moving a little bit, so it won't be long. But here's the thing, once it starts boiling, then it needs to simmer for 10 minutes. So then we'll put the shrimp in there and it'll be just a minute. Yeah, let me know. All right, so I'm using the little Pampered Chef Afro Pick. If you have really good knife skills and you can get equal uh, strips of apple by hand, God bless you. I need uh, to use this. Just put it in my fruit or vegetable and then the knife goes down each side so I can get equal slices. And of course this would work with whatever apple you have. And for me, this is like making a little Oh, it's rescheduled for tomorrow. I have plans for tomorrow. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I miss out on stuff. So you'll see a little goes a long way. You can make a lot more portions with just one apple. And then the goat's cheese or the vegan cream cheese gives you some... Um, Thank you, Alcazone. <laughs> Alcazone Water is on Instagram saying wishing they could taste the final result. I know. I wish I could cook for all of y'all. Thank you so much for being here. And yes, I will definitely stay hydrated. All right. So for these pieces that have the seeds, what I do is I just kind of cut here and cut here. Take this little piece out so I have like little halves. This is great with bacon and the goat's cheese. So you get a lot more from one apple. Okay, so we have our apple slices. I got this apple off of the counter. I like this a lot better when they're refrigerator cold, but that's just me. So this is the goat's cheese that I'm going to use, the Chabri. You can get it at Publix. You can get it at, oh, this one. I know there's nothing wrong with the core, but still. All right, well, let's get our flat pieces. Oh, it's boiling. Ha! Ah, 10 minutes. All right. Hold up. Focus, Maggie. Um, Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right. Let's just make sure we get this right. See how I get distracted? Oh, my gosh, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I thought so. All right. Let's focus. All right, so let's see, for our cocktail, because you can see our water is boiling, four quarts of water, got it. Half a lemon, got it. In the pot, yep. We did the bay leaves, yep. We did the salt, yep. And then what does it say? Reduce heat, simmer 10 minutes. Okay, so it's actually like a rolling boil. Let's do 10 minutes. Okay. So I need to go down to a simmer. That's really like a, a rolling boil. So let me take it down. We just want to gently boil. All right, in the meantime, we're making a high protein snack. So we're gonna put on the goat's cheese. 
goat's cheese for me gives it like that creaminess. This could be cream cheese for you. This could be vegan cheese for you. Gives me that creaminess and the extra protein helps you stay fuller longer. So you can see the shabri is literally just a spreadable. Let's do this side. So this is what I do. Um, I eat two fruits a day, so I like to make the most of them. <laughs> it's all right, y'all. I understand. All right. So I'm going to go in here. So tomorrow's class is going to be a midday class if Marie Marie is still with us. She messaged me earlier today. She has bought uh, the Dash set, the waffle maker, and the griddle. Yes, griddle. So she has bought both. And uh, she was asking for some newbie tips. She wants to do the... Um, turkey chaffle breakfast sandwich so we are going to be making that tomorrow all right so level one is just apple mm. level two is with the goat's cheese messy mm. 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 let me clean my hand Goat's cheese has that creaminess, has a little bit of a tang to it, kind of like a sour cream or a um, blue cheese, if you like that. Um, I think it blends well with the mildness of the apple. Well, let me give these a little bit more love. They're looking a little sad. So it makes one apple a little bit go a long way. If you can have Philadelphia cream cheese, have some for me. All right, so we've got that. And since I'm greedy, I'll just scrape up the rest here. Now, on the recipe, mm. she had almonds. These are wasabi almonds. Come on, thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I'm going to go ahead and chop them up anyway. We'll do a couple of them. So you just want to kind of break up your almonds a little bit so you can sprinkle them on your apples. If you don't have almonds, it's okay. Another substitute for this snack that I actually kind of like better because I like sweet is granola. Just be careful because granola does have a lot of um, sugar in it. So I try to find some substitutes. So this is what I'm using, the Lakanto Keto Granola. You can see cinnamon almond crunch sweetened with monk fruit. So that's one of those sugar-free sugars. What is um, almond I say? Oh my gosh, y'all are hilarious. You miss blue cheese, you miss real cheese, I understand. Are you um, like dairy or are you just trying to avoid it because of the calories or the sugar? So let me get a little spoon. You all can see here. So you can see this is the keto granola. It's nice little crunchy bits. You can put this on top of your yogurt. You can put this on top of your fruit, um, ice cream, sundae. But sometimes you just want the texture and a little bit goes a long way. All right, I'm going to do one with the wasabi almonds and see if I like it or not. All right, so that's what we have. Hi, Victoria's here. Hello, my dear. We are using your cutting board as per usual. We are boiling our water. It just needs to simmer for 10 minutes. Then we're going to put our shrimp in it. So I'm vamping for time. And our shrimp is peeled and ready. Okay. And then again, for these um, apple tizers. So she's got the almonds on there. And then she drizzles them with honey. 
I'm going to use my keto sugar-free honey. So I'm running towards the bottom of the bottle, but I'm going to try and get some on there. The uh, honey just gives it like that extra like syrupy sweetness. If you like sweet, this one's running low. Let me see if I can get, get in there with a the spoon. can break some of this up oh it's it's thick all right I have something else here's another syrup option this is the sucre and this one is caramel they do have a regular one too but we're just going to give it a good drizzle yeah there we go All right, and then I know this sounds funny. So you could stop here if you wanted to. Oh, your body stopped taking dairy, yeah. Y'all, that's one thing that's really interesting. Our bodies do change over time, and some of the stuff that we used to could eat, y'all know, we can't eat anymore. So then you're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of thyme. So I have some fresh thyme here. I know it sounds weird, but this is sweet and bright, and the thyme just gives it like a little bit of earthiness. So if you don't have the fresh, that's fine. You can use the dry thyme. But I'm just going to take a few sprigs off of here and just kind of sprinkle them lightly. It's got like a little bit of a grassy smell. It just balances the honey, kind of like think like a rosemary on like a pork loin or something like that. Just a little bit, just a few leaves not much and I think the color is nice too so this is our snack so let's give one a try I'm gonna do one I'm gonna eat one that I know I'm going to like and then we'll try the wasabi one all right so let me put these on a plate so you all can see our presentation um, Once our honey starts to move a little bit, it's not as beautiful as the drizzle, but this is just one apple. So this is the kind of stuff that I'll make to snack on. Oh, I missed my honey on that one. You can't have that. So if I'm in between meetings and want something, Maya says yummy and it's sticky. Ooh, all right, since I pulled the thyme off of there, all right, let's get this in here with some of this honey, don't mind if I do. And this is sugar-free honey substitute for me. If you can have real honey, have some for me, but I just eat the whole thing. Did I put any thyme on here? Let's get a little bit on there. So good, my goodness. If you have people who are don't eat fruit, find a way to serve it up. Our timer. All right, one more. I'm gonna eat the one with the almonds. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Mmm. The honey really balances it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, stop, Maggie. Mm. Stuff is blinking. Alexa, stop. All right. I'm going to put these behind me. I'm going to eat one more. Okay, okay. All right, we ready? Move all this.
All right, y'all. So it's been 10 minutes. Once our water has simmered for 10 minutes, and I believe the reason why is because we want that bay leaf and that salt and that lemon to really get in there. I just want to pay attention. I know, right? I was having a good time. Elect robots, reduce the heat, simmer for 10 minutes, and then return to a boil. Then put in the shrimp. Stir. Transfer to a wire rack. All right. But I think it just gave me like a minute. Cook until bright and pink. One minute and 45 seconds. All right. Focus. So let me bring this here carefully so you all can see. Over here all greedy. I was. I was having a good time with my snack. <sighs> Mm, it's good, you all. It's sweet. It's savory. And because of the time, it's kind of earthy. So it's a really good balance. I am slowly moving the boiling water so you all can see. Okay. And we have two pounds of shrimp here. We um, peeled this, most of them. And now this is at a boil. Oh, I just got a facial. Oh, wow. It smells bright from the lemon but also kind of spicy from the bay leaf. So let's get All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm nervous. I'm going to put the shrimp in and we're going to set a timer for 1 minute and 45 seconds. Excuse me. I'm going to stir it. Oh, it needs to boil. While it's boiling, I'm going to get the ice because we need to cover it with ice when it comes out. Yes, this shrimp came from the dollar store. <clears throat> I'll show you the package. I'll fit it, fish it out in a moment. <clears throat> All right. So <clears throat> Alexa, set a timer for one minute and 45 seconds. See how they're turning already? All right, <clears throat> let's let it boil. Let me get the ice. Was it covered? I can't remember if it was covered. <laughs> I can't remember, y'all. See, these are the things. I don't remember. Was it covered or uncovered? It looks like it's uncovered. And I do have some shrimp in there that's kind of frozen. Put the shrimp in. Okay, uncovered. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry, y'all. Let me know when it's done. I'm getting ice. Oh my goodness. This is all the ice that I got. Okay, y'all. Alexa's going off. All right. So we're going to take that out and put it on a cooling rack. Alexa, stop. <laughs> I know. Thank you all so much. Isn't that beautiful, though? So we're going to put it on a cooling rack. We want our shrimp to be flavorful and cooked, but not rubbery.
And again, for shrimp cocktail, you want it to be a little bit bigger, but this is what I got. Yes, from the dollar store. If you have a dollar tree that has a uh, frozen section. Now these were not a dollar. My dollar tree actually has like a $5 section. Thank you, Almond Eyes. Thank you, my dear. All right. Uh, did we get everything? And then you want, oh, almost. Y'all know we're greedy. We can't leave anything behind. All right. And then in the video, they cover it with ice. Oh. All right, let me move this so you all can see carefully because it's going to continue to cook once you take it out. All right. I have never heard of this. Uh oh. And I'm going to go get some more ice, but I want you all to see. That's what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to cover it, let it chill for five minutes. I'm gonna get some more ice. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. So I would probably recommend having your crushed ice ready to go. I'm over there standing at my refrigerator door. Who does that? Who does that? All right. So I think we got it pretty much covered. All right. So, whew, stressful. Ooh, Almond Eye says Harris Teeter had pink Argentine shrimp on sale last week. You might do this for the weekend. Yes, that's what I was thinking about you all. You know, New Year's is coming. And uh, if you have parties to go to or you're hosting, you know, you may be thinking about what I can bring that I can eat. This still keeps me sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Um, but yeah, I thought of you all when I saw this recipe. And um, all right, I'm going to get out the shrimp bag. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep it away from the food, but just so you can see, um, who asked? I can't remember. This is Sea Best. So I just got this out of the trash, so I'm gonna put it right back. But this is the package. My Dollar Tree has a frozen section and a $5 section. So I got four of these bags. Each bag is eight ounces, and the recipe called for two pounds. So I guess that would make it like, $10 a pound. So I got four of these. All right. Then let me wash my hands. So yeah, I did drop the link to the recipe. So we're just going to move. Oh, $8.99. Oh, Argentine shrimp is the best. Y'all, I'm telling you, Argentinian shrimp, it's big. I know Kroger has some colossal. They have this amazing like buttery texture. Greedy. This amazing buttery texture that is like um, lobster. So if you can't have lobster, believe it or not, lobsters came up on my no-no list. Or if lobster is out of your budget, if you can catch a good sale for the Argentine shrimp, I have seen them at Walmart. And I have seen them at um, Kroger. All right, so let's clean up because once this is done, we are going to try and make a presentation. Yes, Almond Eye says they're huge. That's probably a lot better for this recipe. Ah, Almond Eye says perfect description. Thank you, my dear. I try. All right, so let's clean up. Taking them out. And because this water is salted with lemon and bay leaf in there, the shrimp by itself has an excellent, like succulent flavor. Woo! So good. Yeah, you could impress with this one. All right, let's clean up over here. All right. In the meantime, 
I'm gonna eat another one of my greedy apples. Uh, apple size, oh, did it lock up? Mm. Y'all, great snack. Mm -hmm. Alexa, stop. See, every time I get distracted. All right, y'all. So let's presentation time. All right. Clean my hands from the honey. All right, so let's move this. And I'm gonna move this for just a second, wipe off, because y'all know we gotta do the pictures and video. But the shrimp by itself tastes excellent. So that is just a cooling rack on a baking tray so that the ice can melt down. And I don't have any fancy platters or anything. Just gonna move our salt water. and move our cooktop so we can take these beautiful um, pictures and video and pretend like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Just have seafood, all of that. All right, so who's ready for some Shrimp Maya says, oh, wow, for the Argentinian shrimp. Yeah, give them a try. It's really, it's really a great lobster substitute. Highly recommended. Because you know shrimp, especially if you don't get good quality shrimp, shrimp can be kind of fishy and kind of rubbery. This dollar store shrimp, y'all, you would eat this. Okay. I have a pie plate. <laughs> and a little pampered chef container. If you have a fancy like dish thingy, use that. You all know I talk about beverages and condiments all the time. Sean's just ready. Yes, ma'am. Here I come. Walden Farms, this brand that makes a pancake syrup and all the sugary, sugar-free, calorie-free, gluten-free uh, condiments. This one right here, this seafood dipping sauce, probably, no lie, <laughs> look at the picture. Probably, let me see if I can do that with lemon wedge and some greenery. Probably the best condiment because the um, Walden Farms condiments are made with an apple cider vinegar base. So they have a little bit of a bite to them. Um, and that's why I tell you some of them are good. Some of them are like, yeah. But because uh, cocktail sauce has like a little bit of, I don't know if it's vinegar or whatever's in there. This one right here, seafood dipping sauce. Um, Walden Farms, highly recommended. And the ketchup is good and the pancakes are good. The sauces are good. It's the spreads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna drip some of this out in the sink. All right. So let me just scoop off some of the ice. Let me be careful. I don't wanna throw my shrimp away. We work hard for the shrimp. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sorry for my outburst. I get excited. All right, I'm just taking the big pieces off so I can try to arrange them. All right, y'all. So we're going to arrange this around the bowl. Ah, Wilbur says he can't stand cocktail sauce. All right. So of course, if I had the big shrimp, you know, in a bowl, I would have them kind of like hanging over, you know, like this in the tail, but I don't. So I'm just going to plate and go all the way around 
Now some of these still have the shell on. I didn't get them all peeled. But yeah, cook them. That's the, the key with seafood. Cook it briefly. Keep an eye on it. Set a timer if you have to, y'all. I am not good. Clearly, you see me burn stuff. I'm not good at just kind of winging it with some things. Oh, this one doesn't have a tail. Maya's here for the shrimp. Oh, yeah. Wilbur can't stand cocktail sauce. Yeah. We all like our... You can't really tell which ones have the shell and which one don't. I cook them all. And honestly, I'll taste one that still has the shell on it and compare for you all so you can see if you need to. So you see, I was able to peel some, but then this one, let's see how this one did uh, in the water with the shell on. Mmm, honestly, peeled, it tastes better. You get the flavor all up in there. And yes, that's what you want. That's what you want. So let me just go ahead and do all of them. Yeah. So yeah, for this recipe, if you're going to be cooking in a skillet, um, then I like keeping the skin on because the heat from the pan, you know, can kind of overcook the shrimp quickly. But if you're going to cook like this boiling technique, I would recommend either buying them peeled. I'm just going back around y'all. Um, I would recommend peeling them yourself or buying them peeled. I wanna make this like party platter. Who is calling me? Oh, so we will see. I think I have some lemon I can put on here. So how many of these would you all do I want to know how many of these would you all eat? When I looked at this Martha Stewart recipe, y'all, look at this. It says, oh, I don't think it's here. It says, um, plan for three to six shrimp per guest. My ass is 20. Martha Stewart page said plan for three to six shrimp per guest. I'm like, Martha, I don't know what kind of guest you have, but um, I know uh, three to six. Now, again, she's using shrimp that are twice this size, but still, I mean, phew, three to six is a little light. Can you imagine if the gongongs were here? The boys would knock this tray out of my hand. And you all can see this is just a glass pie plate with a little to-go bowl. <laughs> Uh-oh, what does Wilbert say? You have to stay away from shrimp. You'd eat the whole thing. Yeah, shellfish are not filling. You know what it is about shellfish? Like when I have crab, I think they just beat you down in time because you got to work so hard to get the... um you know, to get the, what's it called? The meat out of the shell. So you just like, ah, I'm done already. So if you all have ever done the, what, like all you can eat crab at um, um, Red Lobster or any of those places. And I don't wanna be that person that's sitting there all day. Who does that? But yeah, this is an excellent lean protein. And again, this seafood sauce is another one sugar-free, um, oh, low calorie, not calorie-free, fat-free. So this one is 10 calories. So I don't know how much regular cocktail sauce is, but you can see their ketchup is like zero calories. So still a very good option. And I'm gonna dip one in here, y'all. I just gotta get the pictures. Y'all know I gotta get these pictures. Trying to build my um, catalog of cookbook pictures. Members, you should already see on the membership tab uh, one of the cookbook pictures that I've done. I'm just going to put, let's see if I can peel these on the outside. I don't know. Does that look janky? The reason I'm doing it is to kind of remind myself which ones. 
have the flavor. Y'all see what I'm doing? Like if I had one of those big, beautiful platters, which I don't. <laughs> so yeah, let's put that around here. Decoration, the shell comes off once they've been cooked. The shell comes off really easily. All right, Lee just posted the link to the mastermind. All right, this one doesn't have a tail. Mm. Almond Eye says, Harris Teeter, she is shopping. Harris Teeter has in-house in made crab cakes for two for $10. Lobster tail, $6.99 each. That's an excellent price. I was thinking about you all earlier today. So you remember when we did the cooking class or I did the cooking class from Sweet Moments? And because these are cooked and, um, you know, cooled, it's okay. They're supposed to be kind of like cold. I prefer warm with drawn butter. Should I melt some butter, y'all? Don't, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> but, um... I'm just doing a little decoration here so you guys uh, can say, ooh, ah, uh, the ones that are I'm having to peel. Okay, so what I was going to say, I just got a few more, y'all. All right, what I was going to say, I'm thinking about you all. So Sweet Moments has that Valentine's class in February. It's, uh, this is what made me think about it, Almond Eyes. It's a lobster. It's like a surf and turf. <sighs> Maya's here for the melted butter. Okay. I'll try the different butters I have. And uh, we'll dunk it in there. Just like Brandon L. Jet said, dunk it. If he shows up, I'm going to throw one of these shrimp. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's coming together nicely, you all. All right, this one doesn't have a tail. Almost done. And this is two pounds of shrimp, yeah. So I know Maya says she could eat 25. <laughs> All right. Excellent lean protein if you can have it. I don't know. <laughs> Wilbur says you can't have shrimp or crab without butter. You're already eating bad. That's okay. Y'all have my plant-based butters. All right. So we got two shrimpies left. Let's see if we can squeeze these in here. All right. Uh-oh. And. Ouch. Um. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's get rid of that. Ice cubes off. All right, let's toss this. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So we have good, not bad. Sounds yummy. Oh yeah, I haven't finished my thought. I was thinking that um, I would sign up for the class and I would live stream me preparing the surf and turf so you all can see if that's something you wanted to see. I'll pull it up so y'all can see. All right, so here's what we have so far. I know y'all like the close up. Let's wash my hands. Oh, oh, we lost one. That's why we wipe our counters down. All right, so now we have our shrimp here. We have our cocktail sauce substitute, our sugar-free. I am going to cut a lemon. What was the thumbnail? What was Martha's? Uh, I'm not Martha Stewart. I'm not even Maggie Stewart, but I'm going to try. Uh-oh. All right, let's move that. All right, so let me see. I think I have a lemon I can garnish and...
It's not the most beautiful. It's kind of dried up, but I'm going to put a lemon here. Do you all squeeze lemon on your seafood? I haven't forgotten about the butter. This is just for the photo. So let's just going to cut this right here. And then we need some greenery. So we're just going to cut. My beautiful cutting board has a uh, honey and everything on it. So we have Um, <laughs> Mona's looking. And then for greenery, what if just thyme? Um, I could do like parsley. Am I out of the fresh thyme? Let's see. Just a little bit. And I don't even know if I want it like too much on there. Really just. Just a little bit, let's see, I don't know. We'll keep it. Sometimes my OCD gets me a little bit. It has to be symmetrical. Oh, how about this? All right, I think we're good. All right. A kale bed. Ah, yes, I do have some kale. We could have put it on um, a bed of kale. That would have been nice. Ah, oh, Mona says, looks like we're ready to entertain. All right, you all like this? All right. So, ah, Victoria says, it looks good. Okay, so let's take a quick picture and our video for the shorts. Y'all know we gotta make these shorts. All right. And, all right, so let's get in there. Our Martha Stewart shrimp recipe, shrimp cocktail one with the flat, without the flash. All right, and then of course the video. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. So if you're looking for an easy party appetizer, this is the easy and elegant Martha Stewart shrimp cocktail. The shrimp is boiled in salted water with lemon and bay leaves. And this is our low calorie Walden Farms seafood dipping sauce. So enjoy. Okay, we got it. Now for the taste. All right. So I'm going in here. Now I know these shrimp are small, but let's go in here, get that goodness. <laughs> oh, it's so good, sorry. I forget myself sometimes. Oh, thank you, Marie Marie. Y'all, it is so good, honestly. The shrimp is so good. I might salt it just like a sprig. The shrimp is so good by itself. That salted water just with lemon and bay leaves, y'all can make this. Mm. What's the lemon for if we don't squeeze, right? All right, so now we gotta get a few butters out. Mm. All right, so let's try one with the lemon. Y'all, I might just jump in here and eat my way out. <laughs> try guy, Travis says, shout out to the pearls. Thank you, kind sir. I try to represent myself well and represent you all well. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your coverage in the um, Meg the Stallion and Tory Lane's case. 
we keep it about the snacks here, but I do follow the other channels. I appreciate you keeping the community updated for those who want to know. So we're going to try one with a little bit of lemon. Let's try it just lemon first. Mmm. 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 Zippy. Now, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm having so much fun. This is the embarrassing thing. I would be that person in the party that just kind of stayed by here, but y'all, it is excellent. It is really, really excellent. This thing is playing music. I never know when I say the robot names. All right, let's try lemon in the cocktail sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Did I do thank you, Trad Guy? My etiquette classes are not working. I'm really trying, you all, but yeah. I did do a little. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the butter. Why don't we? Oh my gosh, y'all all saw that. I have to remind myself the internet is forever. Yes, I will be in San Diego and I'll be bringing um, Maggie little giveaways for everyone. And then something special for Brandon Aljet and something special for lead attorney Maggie merch. Y'all know I love to give away stuff. Okay, it's yummy. Mm. Mm. All right. Y'all want butter? I don't think I have regular butter. I have plant butter. I have oat butter. And I have goat butter. Okay, see, no. I do not do the Maggie dance in public. The, like this is not public. Ziggy, stop. Daggum robots. The Maggie dance is for your, for your eyes only and all, how many subscribers do I have? All 1600 of my closest friends. Um, if you haven't seen the Maggie roll, I will pull it up for you or drop the link. You can watch it to your heart's content. But you all, like I say, the happiness that I have from food, you know, it's just when you eat something that you can eat, that you have to eat, that you want to eat. It's so good. All right, let's do the butter test. Mm. 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 In all seriousness, y'all, look, I'm making a hole. The shrimp is just creamy and like, it's not rubbery. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's still, it's just very, it's juicy. Mm. Salted water, lemon, and bay leaf. <gasps> See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hello, Brandon. Hello, sir. Y'all got me out here looking crazy. We are going to taste the different butters to go with our elegant appetizer. What does Wilbert say? Just wait. I promise I'm not going to do the Maggie roll at Fogo. What would you all think about me? Like, I can't do that. I can't stand up at an establishment and... <laughs> Who does that? All right, butter time. All right, let's see what we got. We got plant butter. Oh. <sighs> So since Brandon is here, let the dunking begin. We have goat butter and we have oat butter. If you can have regular Kerrygold, Lando Lakes, any of those, please have some for me. I have to be dairy free. So these are the substitutes that I have. What does Trad Guy say? We get, we got a high. We got a hyper up at Fogo, like when they say you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Y'all, I'm trying to be elegant. It's not working. What does Wilbert say? She going Maggie roll. <laughs> she going Maggie roll in her chair, knocking over Tia. 
I know we may have some new people here. So if anybody does not know what the Maggie roll is, I'm embarrassed to say it's one of my most popular shorts. No, my birthday is, I just had my birthday, Brandon. I'm a Thanksgiving baby. So November is my birthday. So y'all got another year of me being 47. All right, so we're gonna melt some butters. Uh, Trad Guy loves country croc, croc. Yes, please have some for me. These daggum robots just keep coming alive. Ziggy, stop. Ziggy, stop. Okay. I don't want any copyright strikes. All right, I'm gonna show you all the Maggie roll and then we're gonna melt our butters. We're gonna do a butter taste test. And, um, uh-oh, did it die? It'll come back, there it went. Y'all know I struggle stream. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me caught up. Brandon says I'm gonna pay Fogo staff to sing her happy birthday in January. I see, but see, here's the problem with me. I'm just festive. I love to celebrate my birthday, your birthday. I'm just happy to be here. However, I have to remember all the cameras come out. Uh, you need to get a waffle bot. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's class is for Marie Marie. We are doing the sausage um, breakfast chaffle per her request on the dash. That will be at 12 Eastern. So I'm going to schedule it. But yes, if you want to get your waffle maker tomorrow, uh, get eggs and cheese and turkey sausage or whatever sausage you all can eat. All right, so let's find, did it lock up? Yeah, it locked up. Okay, I'm going to pull up the Maggie roll so you all can see this crazy lady that I am. Ziggy talking back, you see? Oh, Ziggy, stop. Ziggy, stop. Daggum robot is coming alive. All right, the last thing I need is for my stream to be demonetized from the robots. All right, y'all can go to my shorts. And um, so this is the Maggie roll. You've never seen those moves? Oh no, what are y'all doing? What? You would love to see that. Okay, y'all are gonna try and get me caught up. See, now I'm gonna be self-conscious. You've never seen those movies? Oh, you're waiting patiently for the footage? <clears throat> Here is the Maggie roll. Here's the context. I made a copycat California Pizza Kitchen pizza on a was it a chaffle or a cauliflower crust? It was one of my approved crusts, goat's cheese, red onion, cilantro, and chicken, and then barbecue sauce, sugar-free barbecue sauce as the base. And then this happened. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, y'all. But y'all keep coming back. I don't know why. Greedy. Who does that? Maggie gonna be extra fine. I know if I stop. Look at look who is that? Somebody go get your auntie. What is wrong? <laughs> who does that? Okay, let's talk about butter one more time. Take it home, Maggie. Take it home, Maggie. Yep, that's me. Somebody go get your auntie. What is wrong with her? Okay, and we're done. So that is the Maggie roll that Wilbert says, I am going to knock TLA and AB out of their chairs. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's laughing. Okay, so back to the butter. Today we made a Martha Stewart um, shrimp cocktail for anybody who just joined the foolishness. Um, I am going to cut up these butters and then we're gonna melt them. And then you all are gonna watch me taste and then we'll be done in like 10 minutes. Oh my God, hips of fire, oh no. Oh my gosh. Now, see, this is how rumors get started. <laughs> Feeling the Lord through the food? Who does that? Who does that?
does that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Chandra, you love it. Chandra's happy to see me dancing. See, I'm gonna be on my best behavior. See, what did TLA say? Home team and away, away team. I'm here. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my home. This is not a proper cooking studio, clearly. Ooh, their presentation looks incredible. Look at this, y'all. All right, let's get our butters. They have theirs over ice. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right. In the meantime, let's eat one more of my apples. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna put three different butters in here, just a spoon of each. We're gonna melt them. It's a beautiful set for the class. Thank you so much. I do have a teacher's wish list. If anybody wants to buy supplies for the class, like Brandon Elgett graced us with the melting dome and the microplane. Victoria got us this beautiful cutting board. That sugar-free honey came from Notorious Kevin Brooks and um, vanilla, all kind of stuff. So I do have a teacher's wish list. All right. So you guys can see here, we've got our shrimp. Y'all want me to try it with butter. It's excellent by itself. It is exquisite with the sugar-free cocktail sauce. So again, the Walden Farms, low calorie, sugar-free and fat-free, gluten-free, all of that seafood dipping sauce, okay? Exquisite. So let's try the plant butter. Oh, Brandon is so kind. Y'all said Kirk Franklin. Y'all. <laughs> I don't know what song, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Okay, let's go for the butter. So this is the country crock. Um, I know Try Guy likes country crock. So this is the plant butter with olive oil. And again, if you can have regular dairy, have some for me. Um, let me just put like a half a pat in here. We don't know which one we're gonna like. Um, we're gonna see which butter is giving us the drawn butter experience. So that's gonna be the plant butter. We'll do a little taste test together. All right. And then this is my goat milk butter. I already know. Um, this one is a little strong. Y'all are country crock. Oh, okay. Chandra has to get on the road. Yes, my dear. We will see you soon. Maybe in mastermind. So this butter is made from goat's milk. Now I already know, I've tasted this before. If you don't like the goat, like punginess, you may not like this one. So we'll be just put a little bit in, excuse me, in there. And then I haven't tried this one before. I don't know if anybody's ever tried the oat milk butter. Usually I don't do oat products because I need to stay gluten free and grain free. But we're here together. We're gonna try it. So see how we like it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wilbur said you're gonna put that to proud Mary. Rolling on the sucra. about this Wilbert rolling on the sucrine my sugar-free syrup all right class let's take let's taste our butters all right so this is the oat milk butter I've never tried this before smells buttery <laughs> that's a good thing all right so let's just get a little teaspoon to taste 
Now I'm gonna taste just a little bit cold. Mmm, salted well, melts nicely, creamy, I like. All right, so let's go with a little pat in there. All right, so we'll start with the country crock for trad, maybe like 20 seconds, if that. I could melt all of them, but I probably wouldn't know which one is which, right? <laughs> all right, so it doesn't splatter. Okay, so we're gonna give our country crock a try. What does Wilbert say? Big wheel, keep on turning, see? This is the problem, I wanna dance. Proud Maggie, keep on burning. Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Get up, do, 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 see? Don't get me started. My etiquette classes are not working. Maggie Roll Troll. There you go. All right. Maggie Roll Troll, of course. So this is our plant-based butter. It's a little bit cloudy. You know, drawn butter has like the milk fat out of it. So it's just that clear yellow. So we're going to go in with our shrimp and dunk it for Brandon. Ooh, leave me alone, Wilbert. So we got it all nice and buttery. Thank you for watching on Facebook. You like country croc, country croc too? Mm. Y'all. So good. Savory. Wilbur said I got into that song. Don't ride with me in the car and don't be home alone with me with the stereo up. That's all I got to say. Nine out of ten. Excellent. <laughs> stomp. Isn't that a Kirk Franklin song? I promise the stomp. The whole stump, nothing but the stump. Am I making that up? It ain't over. It ain't over. <laughs> okay, butter number two. This is our goat milk butter. We're going to microwave this for 30 seconds. All right. Oh, press start. I get excited. I can't press start. All right, I'm going to cleanse my palate with an apple slice. One moment, please. Ah, the mom just joins. He says it's just in time for the concert. Y'all, I'm embarrassed. Not enough to stop. Mmm, butter's popping. And I'm back. <laughs> that was it. Oh my gosh, no, y'all, y'all gonna chop up my screen. Okay, so this is the goat butter. You can see it's very pale. <laughs> Damone loves my concert. All right, if you wanna see the shrimp and the butter taste test, Facebook or YouTube. So let's go in for another one. All right, so let's get this dunked for Brandon. Get it all in there. Now I can tell y'all, honestly, this Mayanberg goat milk butter is very forward with the goat smell. It's kind of a little off-putting with the shrimp because, you know, shrimp is very delicate. And so, like, having, like, a gamey kind of goat smell, okay. But it's nice and coated. Let's get in there. Nope. Nope. No, it does not go well. No. Nope. Uh -uh. <coughs> I 
I tried. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Y'all, whew, sorry. Had a little moment there. <laughs> no to the goat. Just say no to the goat. Now, y'all know I love goat's cheese and a lot of goat's milk products. Unfortunately, this brand is very forward with the goat taste and the goat smell. Does not go well with the shrimp. No. Wakanda forever. No. Y'all ain't gonna put me on Wild Star. <laughs> <laughs> all right the last one is the oat butter not to be confused with the goat butter do not n-o-t not run do not walk i think the goat butter would be good if you're braising like a roast or you know how you need to like i don't know maybe even a steak might be too much it's just very strong and i use a lot of goat milk products but What does uh, Brandon say? Yes, sir. Maggie, I came in late. Is that cocktail sauce in the center? Yes, sir, it is. So this is the Walden Farms. And I think I have a link for you guys in the cheat sheet. So the same brand that I do, like the ketchups and the sauces and the calorie-free kind of like um, syrups. So Walden Farms, it's sugar-free. It's only 10 calories. Maybe somebody can look up how many calories and sugar are in like regular cocktail sauce. This has zero sugar, but it does have two grams of carbs. Goat butter is good for braising goat. Yeah, <clears throat> it would need to be a meat that is like lamb or goat or maybe a steak, but it needs to have already like a gamey flavor. And then I think the goat butter would be fine. For shrimp that's cooked in like lemon and bay leaves. It's bright, it's so, mm -mm, nope, nope. All right, last butter. This is the oat butter. <sighs> Y'all are laughing at me. Y'all are laughing at me. <laughs> See, I don't realize, oh, just, I can't clean it up. It happened, okay, it happened. So let's try the vegan goat butter. I mean, oat butter, all right? So, so far, nine out of 10, the goat butter has disappeared. That's like a negative one out of 10. It was that bad. And y'all know, I will tell you. If it's good, I'll tell you. If it's not good, I'll tell you. Let me cleanse my palate with the last apple slice. <clears throat> and these are apple slices with goat's cheese. Could be cream cheese for you. A Little bit of granola or crushed almonds and thyme and sugar-free honey. Mm. 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 One apple goes a long way. All right, last butter. Uh-oh. Y'all? So this is the um, oat milk butter. I might have overdid it, but do you see how it's almost kind of like, I wouldn't say burnt, but it's, when you microwave it, it got a lot more color to it. All right, let's go in for the taste. So let's get our little shrimpy, get in there with that oat butter, get it all greased up. Then we have our nice buttery shrimp. Mmm. I like. You can taste the grain. What it tastes like if you have like a really good like, like garlic bread. Like think of your favorite toast, like French toast, crusty bread with the butter, it kind of tastes like if you took a pinch of that off because this is oat milk, it's got a little bit of grainy, like nuttiness to it. It's good. 
I would say eight out of 10, nine out of 10. And then of course your Lando Lakes or Kerry Gold would be like a 10 out of 10. 12 grams of sugar in cocktail sauce. Oh my gosh. So yeah, for comparison, this one has zero sugar. It has two carbs. Uh, Mona, I don't know if it shows the calories. Can you let us know um, how many calories? This is a 10 calorie. Y'all are always going to hear me talking about beverages and condiments. 90 calories. See, that's the thing, you all. You, you go to a party or you have this at a party and you're thinking, oh, and y'all know I'm not a doctor and I'm not the food police. Please eat what you like. But you go to a party and you chow down on shrimp and you're dunking it the way I'm dunking it. And you don't know that that cocktail sauce is just, you know, loaded up. Mm. So, yep. Hi, Just Love Jesus. Thank you so much for being here. We are wrapping up. But if you wanted to see the side by side and the butter taste test, uh, you can come to Facebook or YouTube. All right, you all. Well, our shrimp cocktail was a hit. I had a few outbursts. They weren't planned. Please tell my children I love them. No, I'm kidding. I do get silly here because I enjoy it. This is really my, um, my happy place, but yes. So for anyone who just hopped on, this is the Martha Stewart recipe for shrimp cocktail. And this was two pounds of shrimp boiled for a minute and a half in salted water with uh, lemon and bay leaf, and then just poured in a tray with ice to cool. Oh, uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. You don't know how much sugar is in there. Ketchup, there's so much stuff. Their ketchup is actually pretty good too. And you can make your own cocktail sauce with ketchup, Tabasco, horseradish, all kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this, this butter. Wilbert says, who is gonna eat the rest of the shrimp? Well, the boys are with their dad. Wait a minute. I gotta do the double dunk, butter and cocktail sauce. Honestly, y'all, I think I like the cocktail sauce better and the butter is good. But let's just give it a try. All right, how are we gonna do this so we don't contaminate? <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get a shrimp and I'm going to get a little spoonful of cocktail sauce. Keep that over here. Let's dunk it up. 80 calories for the Heinz. Oh man, compared to 10 calories, y'all. All right, so we have our buttered shrimp. We have our cocktail sauce. Let me just pour that over the sink. Mmm, 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 y'all. This one right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. If you can't have a uh, regular butter, this one right here, so good. Let's try the oat butter. So get it all greased up. Y'all say, here we go, buckle up. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got it. Get the... Greedy! So we got it all buttered up. And then pour some of that on there. Mm-hmm. Oh! It's got that, the grain in there just makes you feel like it's on, on a buttered toast. So Wilbert wants to know who's gonna eat the rest of the shrimp. You have to make sure it's going to good stomachs. Well, I can bring some to the mastermind tonight. Marie Marie says you like my personality. Ah, hello, Diary of Bell Rose. We are actually done, but I had so much fun with you all tonight. This really is, excuse me, the highlight of my day. And I mean that, believe me, I'm just like y'all. I work and take care of these beautiful, bountiful blessings. <sighs> um, but yeah, 
So you all can make this. We talked about the regular shrimp. This came from the Dollar Tree. Y'all can make this. Argentine shrimp, of course, the best quality shrimp is great. But in a pinch, you can easily make this. Get some good cocktail sauce, some butter on the side. This would do well at a party. New Year's is coming up. Y'all are laughing at me. I don't know what I say. Half the time, I don't know what I say. Just up here talking. Then I go back and I watch the replay and I'm like, I am a fool. Okay. <clears throat> Let me try to be elegant. So to finish the uh, class with the commercials, what does Wilbert say? Maggie be like, I'm so embarrassed. You guys are laughing at me. All right. Thank you, Wilbert, for the reminder. I just like to give people context. So anyway, let's wrap it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I do have a course. Oh, I forgot to put the ticker. I do have a course and the discount code is about to expire. If you all saw the, um, the live that lead attorney did from the airport today, um, he allowed me to come on. I'm always grateful when he shares his platform, but this wacky YouTube channel that y'all keep tuning into is um, nine months old. And uh, y'all know I'm a proud student of the lead attorney. And he tells us, those of us that are over 35, um, if you have, well, that we have life experience that people need to know about. And so he encourages us to start a YouTube channel. And so I really appreciate you all being here. I did not even know that you could make income. <laughs> you could monetize your passions, your foolishness, your love of food, uh, the things you do anyway, every day. And um, Lead says that most new YouTube channels take a year to get monetized. And because of you all, I was monetized in four months, which is extremely fast. And I'm so grateful. Uh, yes. Good evening, Marie Marie. See you tomorrow for lunch. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be dedicated to Marie Marie. That daggum robot is talking again. <clears throat> I'm like, what am I hearing? Okay. So I have a course. It's $50, but I do have a discount code that expires December 31st. And the discount code is thanks TLA. Uh, altogether, it gives you $15 off. As soon as I was monetized, I sat down and put in my approach to getting subscribers, my approach to getting the watch hours, screenshots of the process, let you know what you can expect. I didn't even know you could make income on YouTube. And so I had to learn all of it and I'm sharing it with you all. I've gotten really good feedback on it. Um, oh yeah, thank you all so much for being here. So you can preview one of the videos for free. Um, it's 15 videos and it's two hours worth of content. You get lifetime access. And um, I don't know, hopefully Almanize and Diary of Bell Rose um, got your voucher, your coupons, because it's also going to expire December 31st. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, you can also get access to the course by joining the Maggie membership on my YouTube channel. Click the join button. We have memberships as low as $5 per month. So um, all the raw footage is there, plus behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, and I think that's it. Oh, last statistic. Um, I heard this on That Dude Named Dave. Only 12 to 14% of YouTube channels are monetized. And YouTube made, what, like $20 billion last year or something like that. So your tribe is out there. Okay. Tomorrow, I do know what I'm cooking. Uh, we are going to do uh, sausage egg sandwiches for Marie Marie at 12 noon. I thought I had plans tomorrow. That may change, but I said 12 noon, so we'll do 12 noon. And then, like I said, I've got some plans for New Year's that I'll share with you all. I have dinner plans for New Year's Eve. I will take pictures and video for you. And then New Year's Day, I'm going to do a tea and I'll do recaps on those nights for you. Okay, absolutely. Perfect. <gasps> what does Wilbert say? Wilbert's going to start a channel. He's going to start a channel in the new year. I cannot wait. Lots of good stuff that's coming in 2023. Y'all are still asking, Maya, you want to swing by and get some? Look, I got this whole thing of shrimp here. I'm going to eat some of it. But honestly, when you eat lean protein like this, you'll stay pretty full for a while. So I'm going to eat maybe another handful of shrimp. Then I'm just going to bag it up. Yes, congrats. Looking forward to supporting Wilbert. Clearly, he's very talented. 
Um, so yes, <laughs> Maya says, don't tip me. All right, you know how to reach me. All right, so Instagram class is dismissed. Um, don't forget you all, I am trying to grow my TikTok so I can go live on TikTok. A lot of you have um, already followed me there. When I have a thousand subscribers, I can do the same live on TikTok that you all see. So I'm trying to meet people where they are. Um, so yeah, for those of you in the Lead Attorney Mastermind, I will see you tonight in class. And um, for everybody else, I will see you tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern. And we will do um, something special for Marie Marie. All right. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube uh, class is dismissed.